Let me give the final word to Sanju Verma. Sanju Verma, okay. is this a calculated risk or a huge risk that you're going with completely new faces and only the prime minister as the mascot? Where essentially it will be MP ke man mein Modi, UP ke man mein Modi, Telangana ke man mein Modi and everyone else is just executing his plans. Thank you. Padmaja, uh, with no offense to you, Baki sab Anurag Bhadoria yaha par kisano ki baat kar rathe. I'll come to your question. So please understand, Mr. Bhadoria, almost 3 lakh crore has been distributed to farmers via PM Kisan. You spoke of unemployment. It has hit a record low of 3.2%. You spoke about inflation. The inflation has hit a low of 4.87% CPI and wholesale inflation is a negative 0.52%. But answering Padmaja's question, Padmaja, you never change your winning horse midway through the race. And Prime Minister Modi is by far the most popular leader ever in Indian polity in the last seven and a half decades. Hmm. And I think you don't need to understand Indian politics to understand this basic fact. But most importantly, I will just leave by saying this. Jo log internal rebellion ki asha aur apeksha kar rahe hain DJP se, when Sarbanan Sonowal, the sitting chief minister, was replaced by Himanta Biswa Sarma, it was a seamless transfer of power. When Tirat Singh Rawat and Trivendra Singh Rawat were sidelined and a new face, Pushkar Singh Dhami, was made the Uttarakhand chief minister and then he won us the state, there was a seamless transfer of power. When Thawar Chand Gehlot, the Minister of Social Justice was sent to Karnataka as governor. There was seamless transfer of power. When Kiran Rijiju was removed as Union Law Minister and Arjun Meghwal was made the Union Law Minister, there was no sign of any rebellion whatsoever. And last but not the least, when Vijay Rupani replaced Anandi Ben Patel and when Vijay Rupani was replaced by Bhupendra Bhai Patel, there was seamless transfer of power because BJP may know they don't wash their dirty laundry in public. Okay. Congress ka DNA ye hai ki wash our dirty laundry in public. Iske bina to kaam chalega hi nahi. That is why, that is one of the biggest reasons you lost Rajasthan because such but, a But you're saying there is dirty laundry to be washed. Heads. It's just being done privately. That's in a lighter note. I'll give the final word to Sabha Nakhvi. Sabha, Nak Sabha Nakhvi, risk or rewards? Where is this going? I, th I don't think it's a risk in the Hindi belt, uh, Padmaja. It was a risk in Karnataka. I don't think at this point. Also, I'm again saying that Mr. M the Prime Minister, because even in Gujarat, in his three terms, hmm. he would always have a different selling point at the end of each term. The, you know, because I've written a book, so all of that, I can recall all that. So uh, if the first election was about something, this one is about Modi ki guarantee. It is going to be about deliveries. It is going to be, and as you pointed out, each one of the choices is also deeply committed to the Hindutva agendas, hmm. be it against conversion in Chhattisgarh, where this, you know, the in uh, this uh, Dilip Singh Judo once upon a time, the Vishwa Hindu Parishad did a lot of work over there. So, and you you are informing me, I'm hearing this on your show because I didn't know very much about the Rajasthan chief minister, that he's involved in the cow issue. I didn't know that till I'm sitting here tonight. So, you know, things like that, but... But the main thing is, how do you create, how do you mobilize and give the incentives to the worker, motivate them? I think that's his play for the Hindi belt. All and, right. certainly, and certainly, the Yadav choice is, of course, with a big eye on, on Uttar Pradesh mm. and Bihar. I mean, let's don't think that the UP BJP... Bihar and Madhya Pradesh, which also has a sizable population of Yadavs in 2024, it is going to be very, very significant. And that's the reason why that the Samajwadi Party was also contesting because of the Yadav population that is present in Madhya Pradesh. I'm going to leave it at that. Very interesting calculations at play, how they translate on the ground. We'll keep a close watch. Thanks very much, all gentlemen.